What's up guys, it's Justin Vasseur, photographer at Barbell Brigade. I know you guys don't see me that often on camera because I'm usually the one behind it, but today I wanted to give you insight of what's been happening since the lockdown. <laughs> I've been working with Barbell Brigade for about two years now. It's been such a dope experience just being able to collab with everybody and create this dope content and just seeing how the company has been growing the last two years, coming up with new supplements and new clothing collections. And it's just been a really dope experience. So what we do in the media team is we come up with campaign ideas and treatments for the collections that we have coming out. Also, we do all the content ideas for the supplements and the YouTube channel. Now, I wanna kinda give you insight of what's been going on since the quarantine. Initially, I did not think it was gonna be this serious. At first, I thought it was just gonna be something that we would have to be sort of cautious about, but everything started getting more intense and crazy, and then there was word of the shutdown. I told myself, you know what, if it is gonna happen, let me go back home, back to Vegas, and just be closer to my family. Here I am in Vegas, I'm at my parents' house. The only thing that sucks now is that I can't create the content that I used to be able to create. So we don't have the gym anymore. We don't have the athletes that we used to work with. And also we have to be sort of separated. Now it's starting to get a little bit better, but um, I'm still over here. So I'm not able to create the same type of content that I was before. When the shutdown actually happened, there is a lot of things that we had to sort of figure out. So what we've been doing is we've been giving everybody in corporate and even the staff at the gym an opportunity to kind of just talk about their workouts, what they've been doing, their plans, their meals and all that stuff. And I think it's been working really great. Another thing that I think is dope is uh, before this all happened, we used to have meetings every Monday. We used to go to the office and spit out what's been going on, spit out our ideas and see what the team thinks about what we've been accomplishing. And because we can't meet in person, we've been doing these Skype meetings and we're still continuing to progress. We're still continuing to push content. We're still continuing to push supplements out and, and new lines that are coming out. And everybody is on their A game. It's been such a crazy experience. Just seeing everybody evolve around this whole pandemic thing and just seeing everybody get together and push through it. So it's getting kind of dark right now. I wanna go out for a quick ride. So let's go. So what's actually been really dope about this whole quarantine thing is that I've kind of been able to go back to my old hobbies, things like skateboarding, riding bikes, also making music and playing drums. So it's been such a crazy experience. It's been such a crazy experience like getting back to that. Ever since I moved out to LA, it's just been really busy every day. And um, I kind of got into this whole creative rut towards the end of it or towards the last few months and so I think it was in a sense perfect timing um, to be able to sit down and, and, and just chill for a minute and get back to my old hobbies. Now I'm able to focus on making music, I'm able to focus on playing drums and not even that but also focusing on spending time with the family. It's been a way to get back into who I really am, you know what I mean? I kind of felt like I was losing myself and now that I'm able to settle down I have found myself again um, and I guess that's the struggle of being an artist sometimes um, sometimes you're you have this vision right where you want to be where you want to go and I would say keep your eye on that keep your eye on the prize but also don't lose sight of the hobbies that you had or don't lose sight of your family or your friends or anything like that I think the biggest thing is finding a balance between all of it. Um, and not, not everybody operates the same way, but uh, for me, I know that finding a balance is key. And this whole quarantine has made me realize that balance is key. So some of the things I really miss are the food, Korean barbecue. But the biggest thing is the gym. I don't know about you guys, but I really miss the gym. I miss being around everybody. I miss shooting at the gym. I think uh, that was one of the biggest things that I would look forward to every day is just getting to be creative at the gym, getting to see everybody at the gym and just staying motivated 
Um, because even if I wasn't working out that day, I was like, damn, these fools are killing it out here. They're just, every, every day someone's hitting a PR. You know, I miss the vibes. I miss the vibes of the gym, hearing the music, just blasting and the heavy weights hitting the ground and all that stuff. I'm ready to get back. And what was cool too is that I was actually learning some powerlifting stuff with Stan. And we did that video uh, where he was showing me how to deadlift properly. And even though I don't really know what I'm doing, um, I still feel like I was able to progress pretty well. It's been cool having Stanley show me how to do the lifts properly and all that stuff. So before I left, I was actually telling Nadim I want to do a powerlifting meet. I think it's gonna be a great challenge for me, for sure. I just need something to push me. That's different from all this photography stuff and all this music stuff, right? So I get a lot of questions about which cameras I use for Barbell Brigade, and I use the Sony a7R IV. Before I was using the Canon 5DSR, and then even before that, I was using the Nikon D850. So I've been kind of like through all the brands, just testing them out. And so far, I really like the a7R IV. I know this isn't a camera review video or anything like that, but I kind of want to give you insight on what tools I use for the Barbell Brigade channel. So I use the a7R IV for the video and the photos. As far as editing goes, I use Photoshop and a program called Capture One. Capture One is the industry standard, I would say, for photo editing. Um, there is Lightroom. I'm not a big fan of Lightroom, but it is a huge tool. Um, there's also Adobe Raw and things like that. But for me, I stick with Adobe Photoshop and then Capture One. For video though, I use DaVinci Resolve. Um, I was using Adobe Premiere, but I kind of wanted to get more into the color grading aspect of things, so I dove into DaVinci Resolve, and now I do all my editing and coloring and that. So, I mean, I would recommend DaVinci Resolve or Premiere for video, um, Photoshop to do retouching, and then Capture One to do your image processing. But if you guys were wondering, those are the tools that I use for this channel and for all of Barbell Brigade's content. So yeah, I just wanted to keep you guys updated on what's been happening on my side of things. Everybody's doing good. My family's doing good. I'm doing good. If you guys want to stay up to date, subscribe. And if you guys want any apparel or need to stock up on your supplements, go to barbellbrigade.com and we got you. We'll see you on the next episode of Inside Barbell Brigade. Peace.